Hey everyone, I am Nathaniel Rufflejance, and this is Prime News. So, on today's episode of Prime News, before we get into it, because it is going to be a rather short episode, I do almost want to apologize for just having the plain green screen in the background, because I wanted to wear this, because go Bucks, kick the Celtics butts tonight. Um... But it's playoff time. I'm a big NBA fan, big Milwaukee Bucks fan, and green doesn't work on a green screen, so we're just leaving it green. You guys are going to deal with it. It's fine. Let's get into the news that you came here for in the first place. And our first piece of news today deals with Wave Race. That's right. Wave Race could be making a comeback on Nintendo Switch. Nintendo's Shinya Takahashi had this to say about the potential of Wave Race coming to Nintendo Switch in an interview they did with Wikia, of all places. You may see that game again, talking about Wave Race. We have been trying to make many games, and that may be one of them. I personally love Wave Race. Yes, folks, Wave Race could be coming back. He's not confirming it's being made, but he's not denying that it might be being made as well. It is obviously a game he really loves. At least, that's what he said. So, let's just go with that, right? Wave Race, potentially coming to Switch. Just, yes. All of my yes. I have so many fond memories of, of like, two or three different Wave Race games. I want a Game Boy, Wave Race 64. Just so much good stuff. Let's bring Wave Race back because, honestly, Nintendo just needs more racers. Like, in home grown racers. They used to have a bunch of them, right? F-Zero's not, hasn't been back in a long time. I, I'd love to see that again. Uh, pod racer, I know it was not Nintendo, but I, I just want more Star Wars pod racing because it's Star Wars and it's pod racing. <laughs> Let's move on to our second story. This actually kind of sucks. Dark Souls Remastered has been delayed for Nintendo Switch. Uh, Dark Souls is still releasing on May 25th for every other platform, the remastered version, but Switch. Switch has now been delayed to some to-be-announced date in the summer. This actually comes directly from from the people behind the game. They said the release date for Nintendo Switch version has now been pushed back to this summer. Additionally, the Solaire of Astora Amiibo has also been postponed within the same time frame. Makes a lot of sense. The Amiibo is not going to come out if the game's not available. And the games are going to come out if the Amiibo's not available. They're going to come out at the same time. Um, this sucks. This really, really sucks. Because people have already, like media have gone hands-on with Dark Souls Remastered and played it, and, and gave a lot of favorable impressions. The only thing I could think of at this point is maybe they want to do more. I'm trying to look at the positive here. If it's being delayed, and people are already saying that it's perfectly playable, according to the media, then oh, maybe they want to do more. Maybe they're going to try to make it 60 FPS? We, we, we can only cross our fingers and hope. Although some people are saying they prefer the Switch version over the other ones because it feels the most true to the original game, which was also 30 FPS, although it ran at sub-30 FPS in a lot of situations. I'm not exactly sure why it's delayed. They're not giving us any specific reasoning. It just is. And I, this is personally frustrating because one of the big things I wanted to start seeing happen this year is equal and fair treatment of games that are coming out on all platforms. Now, this did technically happen last year if you want to want just... One perfect example, forget WWE 2K18 because that was a hot mess anyways. We're, we're talking about games like L.A. Noir. L.A. Noir came out on, on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Switch on the same day. I was hoping for more treatment like that. Now, some of you might say, well, the best example is probably NBA 2K18. And while that's probably the best current-gen port that, that we've seen out there that's been day and date, it also didn't have the physical version come out day and date. That came out a month later, so that's not perfect either. I wanted to start seeing equal treatment, but now it seems like even though it was announced first for Switch before the other platforms, it was this big reveal in the Nintendo Direct, eh, Nintendo Direct Mini, to be fair, it, uh, it kind of feels like hollow at this point. I, I feel a little empty inside. Uh, I, I don't want to hear this kind of stuff happening. I obviously would, you know, if, if they're going to delay it and add 60 FPS or make some major changes, that would be great. But it would have been nice if they said, look, we're delaying it because it needs performance enhancements or it needs this or it needs that. So they're just saying, sorry, it's not coming. We're not going to tell you why it's not coming. Look forward to it this summer. It really, really kills my hype for this game. And now I'm not so sure I'm even going to pick up Dark Souls Remastered when it comes out, you know, when Mario Tennis Aces is out there. And then look at that July slate. That July lineup is so jam-packed in the first half. I, I, uh, this is not good. Not good for me anyways. I understand game development is hard, but at least give us some reasons. This is just, 
Ah, I said I'm empty inside. Uh, the next story we have is actually one that broke late yesterday, but uh, it didn't make it into our very, very long Prime News yesterday. And that is that Biomutant and Darksiders 3 might potentially be coming to Switch. Now, this was discovered by a Twitter handle named Pixelpar. What they did is they actually looked at uh, THQ Nordic's uh, information sheets for these games and they compared them to something that happened earlier so so what happened is that darksiders 3's pc's version has a, a, a like the, there's numbers associated with it and the number listed with it is 1024355 the playstation 4 version is 1024356 and xbox one is 1024358 so the 102.4357 version is actually missing, and the same is true with Biomutant. So Biomutant and Darksiders 3, neither one of them, uh, they both have a missing digit in, in their numbers, and that missing digit could be the Switch version, since PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4 all have their own numbers. Now, the reason that this is even a possibility, that this theory makes any sort of sense, that we're even giving this the light of day, is because THQ Nordic has actually already done this. Um, Sign Mora EX was originally listed for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with a missing digit between Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Then two months later, it was confirmed for Switch, and lo and behold, Switch was the missing digit. So, uh, it, it's a crazy theory. This isn't even like a rumor. This is just pure speculation, but it all lines up. It, it, if it looks right, we're just going to go with it. So, yes, Darksiders 3 and Biomutant probably coming to switch darksiders 3 makes a lot of sense because darksiders 1 and 2 were even on wii u but yeah darksiders 3 biomutant look forward to it on switch i i'm i'm gonna go with this being like a thing it, it looks legit to me anyways let's move on we have two other news stories to quickly get to before we round out today ubisoft's press conference for e3 has now been dated with a time it is happening june 11th at 1 p.m pacific time uh, so there you go. We now know when that's happening. Uh, that's notable because they could be announcing games that are going to be coming to Switch. Ubisoft, uh, we know last year that was it was Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Maybe there'll be more DLC for that game. Maybe there'll be, you know, maybe the new Assassin's Creed or something will be coming. It will be very interesting to find out if anything gets announced at that conference that's coming to Switch. Uh, Nintendo has done this thing where, like, you can announce your game but then also announce it on ours. So, like, make it a surprise. I, I hope that's not what Nintendo is doing. I hope they let Ubisoft just be Ubisoft. And if their standard games are coming to Switch, announce it for Switch. Uh, the last piece of news that we're going to talk about. The Switch's firmware has actually been updated to 5.0.2. It resolved an issue that caused motion controls to respond incorrectly when playing games that use the feature and dealt with user icons for recommended friends not displaying correctly. Uh, I didn't notice the second issue. I'm sure if I would have paid closer attention, I might have. And the latter issue, I just don't... I, I don't really use the motion controls very often if that makes sense so i guess i never noticed anything but that's going to do it for today's prime news that's it that's a wrap you can cut off right here if you want i'm nathaniel wolf for jance from nintendo prime and i just really butchered my own name that's what a day what a day go box go box go Giannis out of katumbo oh yeah baby nailed that chris middleton Oh, let's, let's, let's nail it. Eric Bledsoe, bounce back with a big game. Mike Brogdon, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I can't wait for this Bucks game, guys. It's pretty much all I care about today besides my family. All right, I got to actually go pick up. Speaking of my family, I got to go pick up my kids after I edit this video. Yeah. You like this video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Subscribe for more content, folks, and we'll catch you for another episode of Prime News tomorrow. Peace out.